Hey guys, CC back with another video and today's video is going to be our Sephora haul part two. first time watching me or my channel make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty and also subscribed to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley TV so it is that time again. If you guys have missed part one of my Sephora VIB sale bonus event haul, make sure you click that I right up there. It'll take you right to that video. But this is part two. I do have one more box coming, but I think I'm just going to show you guys that stuff on Instagram when it comes because I don't know. I think I just am. So I do have some more luxury items here that I'm really excited to talk to you guys about. We have more of the fancy cream. Pro I'm not going to tell y'all. Let's just get right into it. Okay. And since I've already spilled the beans and opened my big mouth, we're going to start with the new fancy cream products I've done a full review and wear test and kind of demo on some of the products that I previously got so if you haven't seen that I'll also have that video linked in this video and also down below so make sure you check that out as well so in part one I did show you guys two of the blushes and one of the bronzer so the other floor four blushes came and I'm so excited so I do have um cool berry here oh I've been waiting on this bad boy right here is that not so so beautiful I'm gonna try to do like some Instagram swatches and everything so just make sure you're following me over there so I can swatch the blushes over there I also have crush on cupid how cute I have rose latte very gorgeous and then I also have summertime wine this one is also really pretty and this is the one I actually demoed in that Fenty um, cream product demo so I'm really excited to try these out and wear these throughout the summer I also want to let you guys know that I am doing a little giveaway in this video so I do have one of the crush on cupids blushes that I wanted to give away in this video all of the rules for the giveaway will be down below in the description box I just wanted to do something nice for you all just to make you smile I know these can be tough times and some people I've talked to you guys you guys are like I'm not shopping the sale I get it and so I wanted to do something nice for you guys again just to make you smile so all the rules for the giveaway will be down below you'll get a brand new crush on Cupid Fenty cream blush so I hope you guys enjoy it go ahead and enter and let's keep going so I did also pick up another bronzer this one is the bronzer in honey glaze and I've been waiting on this one so the previous bronzer that I got was the one in Teddy and I feel like that one was more so of a contour shade so this one is supposed to be more red and probably more see more of a bronzer definitely more of a bronzer shade so we're gonna swatch this one look at that you can definitely see the red in it there it is right there I think this will be really really cute to mix with Teddy and they might actually look really beautiful together so we're gonna have to play around with those I was so excited about these fancy blushes and bronzers you guys have no idea I also picked up another bronzer I don't know what I'm doing with all the bronzers because I also have another one after this one but I picked up a bronzer from Guerlain I think this is my one and only Guerlain product I was like a little rich girl during this haul I don't know what I was thinking but um this bronzer looked so so pretty when I saw it and it is the time for bronziness you know what I'm saying summer's coming up it's time for us to get really gorgeous and really bronzy oh it smells smells good smells really good 
So that's what it looks like. Let's see. Let's do a little swatch of it. Okay, girl Lane. This is the terracotta terracotta the bronzing powder natural and long-lasting tan in shade 05 is what it is oh it, it like matches really well with the fancy bronzer look at that oh yeah we're gonna be trying all of these products so so soon so we might as well go to the next bronzer. I also picked up a bronzer from Kosas. Now, Kosas is a brand that I have tried their lip oils and have loved them. So they came out with bronzing powders and I was like, who am I to not try the bronzer? So I picked up their, what is this called? This is the Moisturizing Baked Bronzer and I believe they had two shades. So this is what the packaging looks like. I got mine in the shade Deep and when you open it, up ooh, that is deep that is really really deep wow it's soft though oh she's deep yeah she's deep let's look at the difference between these bronzers and this bronzer even though that'll be really good for the summer because obviously we get a little tan in the summer. I mean, hopefully our states are open. I don't know how tan we're going to get this summer, but you know, um, we'll see. We're going to have a bunch of bronzers to play around with this year. I also picked up a new concealer. So I picked up the Too Faced. This is the Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Concealer in the shade Rose Tea. And I picked this up because I previously got this concealer, but I got it in too deep of a shade. I wanna say I got it in the shade Cappuccino and it was just way too deep for me. So this shade looks pretty spot on for me to use like on blemishes or whatever I want to use it on. If I want to do like a no makeup makeup day and only use this potted concealer, I feel like this is a good one to use. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. So I can't wait to see how this one works. I also picked up another concealer. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. And I'm also heard great things about this one. This one's in the shade 4W, 4W Warm. And this is what it looks like. I heard this concealer is absolutely amazing. I usually like it a little lighter, but... Ooh, that's like my skin tone. I might have to... That's like my skin tone. I may have to reorder this and take this back when, oh yeah. I think we're gonna have to take that back cause I just blended it out. It's actually a little deeper than my skin tone. So that one's not gonna work. So um, I'm actually gonna have to send this one back. I'll just make sure to take it back when the store is open and I'll just hold that. So yeah, that one's not gonna work, but I'm gonna go ahead and reorder it cause the sale isn't over yet. And um, I really, really wanna try that concealer. So that one's probably gonna be on my reorder list. So then I have four Hourglass products sitting in front of me and two of them I actually got from the Boxy, was it the Boxy pop-up or um, I think it was the Boxy pop-up last month. And so I picked up two of their um, ambient lighting blushes and you guys know how I've been loving their ambient lighting blushes lately. So I picked up two more of them. I got them for like $12. And so I just kind of threw them in this haul. But this is what the packaging looks like. I've been loving the one. This is the one that I previously had. And this one's in the shade Diffuse Heat. I actually got that um, in my BoxyCharm last month. And so when I saw they were having the Boxy Pop-Up, I think it was Boxy Pop-Up, I ended up picking up two more. And this one's in the shade Dim Infusion. And so these are really subtle blushes. And then I got this one in Ethereal Glow. So Ethereal Glow Dim Infusion. I'm very excited to use those. I love those blushes so, so much. So just, just very anxious for those. And then I actually grabbed two more Hourglass products, but I grabbed these from the actual Sephora sale. And this is, this is the Scattered Light Glittered Eyeshadow. 
and this is what it looks like and these are like just potted eyeshadows I hate buying single eyeshadows because I don't use them very often but I wanted to try these I've had my eye on these and I haven't like ooh 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 look at that ooh I've seriously had my eye on these and I am so excited to try them out. Oh yes, we're gonna have to get an eye look going with that really, really soon. That one is in the shade Ray. That one's in the shade Ray. And then last but not least, I did pick up another Hourglass Unreal um, lip gloss because you guys know I love these. So I picked up a, this is like a um, glittered one or a shimmery one and this one's in the shade Ignite and I just thought this would be a really pretty lip topper on some of the lipsticks that I plan on wearing this summer or just by itself too but yeah see it's like a clear peachy glittered lip topper I think it's going to be perfect for that so it's like right there but that is it you guys those are all the products that I decided to pick up from the Sephora sale like I said I do have a few more items coming but we'll probably just get an Instagram um, haul popping for y'all so again make sure you're following me on Instagram and also make sure you enter the giveaway again all the rules are down below in the description box I love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I'll talk to you in the next video bye guys Know that I regret it, hope we find